Hello and welcome back to the reviews of Peak Endurance Podcast. I don't know what to call this, the review pods. Someone give me an idea, DM me, uh, comment on this, something. Let me know what I should call this because bugger if I know. All right, here we are, Peak Endurance Podcast reviewing Light Feet Socks. There we go. And these are my new white ones. I can guarantee they're not going to stay white for long, but that's okay. All righty. So um, these are the Evolution socks. Says they're left and right feet. Quite frankly, I just whack them on whatever foot. Um, and this is another pair that I bought. And you can see how quite thick they are. See how it's thinner there? And that's quite thick. Let me open them up, turn them inside out, and you can see the complete, wow, look at the difference. And can I tell you, I get sore in the sort of the ball of my foot when I'm running, I think just years and years of running, and honestly, these help so much. So let's talk about them. These are, this is what they say, our most protective and cushioned mid-weight sock. The evolution keeps your foot cool, dry, and blister-free. It's outrageously comfortable too. That's what they say. And quite frankly, it is comfortable. They are comfortable. Oh, look, it says right on the bottom. Oh, who knew? No, I know. Um, I'll actually look at them. Normally it has it on the foot when they're right or left, and that's what helps. So I, like I said, I have trouble with sore feet. So I find that these really, really help. And this is how they come, and you've got to or, order them online obviously now I've gone for women small six to nine I wear a nine and a half size shoe but I don't know about you but I hate when you put on your shoe and the heel bit is is hanging too far up socks are stretchy so I prefer them I, don't, I would not go for medium or anything like that so light feet um socks are actually Australian it's an Australian brand and they're sports podiatrists designed. And they um, claim to prevent blisters. Well, I haven't gotten any blisters running them. I ran in them yesterday in a different pair, a black pair with these colours. Um, and I ran 50K, good as gold. And my feet did stay because it was quite warm. To be fair, I looked at the temperature. It was like 15 degrees, but it felt like 25 after we've just come out of a heinous winter and um, the sun was shining and there was no shade. Uh, they contour to your feet, to be honest. Like I said, didn't know about the left and right, so I haven't really focused on that. I'm not seeing where that says it on these brand new ones either. Um, I'll open them up. Oh, should have maybe done this earlier, but I wanted you to see them in the packaging. I can't see anywhere on these where it says left or right. These are the Predator ones. Okay, so they're a slightly different sock. Maybe. All right, it'll be different for those. Uh, seamless toe construction stops toe chafing. Well, it's not like in gingy socks, but then I find in gingy socks, and I'm, I don't know, it feels too tight on my toes. So it's uh, Cool Max and Ecstatic Yarns. I don't know what ecstatic is. X, not E. X hyphen and static. Optimum support with anatomical design. Okay, so these are the Predator and these are mid-weight socks um, and it, basically it says exactly the same and it says it's contoured to left and right feet. Either way, I find them both awesome and, um, you know, these ones are a little bit less thick. These ones are more because they're the evolution. It's a minimal difference. All I know is that they are awesome when you're running an ultra. And also you could probably change um, socks halfway if you're finding that, you know, because obviously it's going to get compressed. It's not going to be perfect the whole way. The way it feels when you first put them on, it's not the way it's going to keep feeling. But I've had some of these socks for a long time and they're still comfy, really comfy. And I don't get blisters. However, there is one downside, they're expensive. $35 for a pair of socks. And also you can get ankle. I've, I've got some of the mid-calf ones, but they've only got them in grey. Boring. It'd be kind of cool if they had these sort of designs in the mid-calf ones because that's kind of the trend now is to wear slightly longer socks. So that would be nice to see. 
but no, that's okay. And they're not that much more for the longer ones. Um, so I think I read here that the light feet sport sock, sports support socks. That's real. You try saying that five times without mucking it up. I said it once and I mucked it up. They're made with Cool Max yarns, like I said, for maximum moisture management and temperature control, as well as 99.9% .9 pure silver thread, which combats the bacteria and microbes that cause smelly feet. Well, of course, I don't get smelly feet, naturally, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Well, to, I don't really get smelly feet. I should try them for Ron because uh, hmm, he potentially does. Um, so... Anyway, I just want you to know that if you get sore feet, these socks are brilliant. If you've tried them, let me know. Now, I've also heard of features, you know, features, socks that they're similar and pretty good, but I have not tried them. I've only tried the light feet and I love them. And I just think people underestimate this stuff. You know, Ron runs in Kmart socks, which is fine for him. And I've bought some of them just for like my daily 10k runs but I find that the elastic has started to go and they're not that old and oh there is nothing worse than that feeling of the sock falling down inside your shoe is there sometimes I've had to take a spare pair of socks with me in my pocket just in case you don't get that with these socks these stay good for their lifetime so um the only times I've had to get new ones of these or throw them out I should say is where my toenail goes through them. So I don't know if that's a design fault or me just not cutting my toenails enough. Hmm. Could be me. But I think um, it's also the amount of pressure just when you've run 100Ks in, in, in your socks and, you know, they're pushing against your shoe and it's, especially as your foot swells, it's going to happen, right, at some point. Um, and so... I would suggest that you spend good money on socks. You spend, you spend good money on shoes. Socks, are your feet are your, your feet are your vehicle for running, right? It's like a cyclist buying a cheap ass bike and expecting to go well. Your feet propel you forward. They take all that pounding weight, show them some love. Get them some good socks, whatever brand you use, get good ones. I really don't think Kmart socks are good for 100K events or even for running 50K. Though, mind you, that 50K we did yesterday, Ron ran in his Kmart socks. Maybe I should buy him some of these too. It's his birthday coming up. What do you reckon? Let me know. All righty. So that is my review of the Light Feet socks. They are awesome for ultra running. And at the end of the day, evolution or Predator, whichever you choose, but the Evolution ones are thicker. And what I love about them as well is um, they're not thick everywhere, which means then you have to like put up a size in your shoes. These fit into my standard shoes, not a problem um, because it's not the entire sock that is super thick. So give them a go and let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of them? And have you got some other socks that you think are awesome? I've tried in Gingy, so don't, so don't, you know, like I know they're good. Um, I just find personally they feel a bit constrictive around my toes. I used to wear them all the time, but it's, you know, you go through phases with things, don't you? All righty, thanks for joining me. I hope this was some help if you're looking at socks. Um, these are a brilliant type of sock and will definitely help you. And like I said, it's so important for your ultra running and just any kind of running to invest in good quality socks. They can make all the difference between you finishing and DNFing because ultimately blisters stop many a runner. All right, good luck with all your running and catch you on the next one. I will be talking about the supplements I use, not vitamins, supplements. Catch you then.